This is a guide on replacing your front display assembly on a Lenovo Chromebook 500e 2-in-1 laptop. This is necessary if either your front glass digitizer or the LCD is broken. You will need the following tools. An X-Acto knife, plastic picks, Phillips screwdriver, flat metal pick and tweezers. To begin, shut the laptop down and disconnect the power cord. Pick off two rubber covers from the bottom edge using an X-Acto knife. Remove the two Phillips screws found under the rubber covers. Flip the laptop over and using a plastic pick, separate the seam at the bottom of the display assembly. Please note, this computer powers on whenever the screen is lifted off the keyboard. Open the display back up and shut the computer down. Using a plastic pick, separate the bottom plastic cover strip. Remove three Phillips screws located under the plastic cover. Pick off the front display assembly from the back cover and place it on the keyboard. Peel off the clear plastic tape over the video connector. Lift up the connector bracket and using both hands, gently disconnect the video cable. Using a Phillips screwdriver, remove four screws from the metal rail at the top edge of the display assembly. Use a plastic pick to separate the webcam adhesive. Then carefully lift off the metal rail making sure to separate the webcam cable from its guides. Free up the cable and set the rail aside. Use a flat metal pick to disconnect the digitizer's cable from the digitizer board. Then separate a cable from a tiny sensor board next to the digitizer board. You may need to use tweezers to undo the accessory cable from its guides. At this point, the front display assembly can be separated. Set the main body aside and place the replacement display assembly above the original. We need to transfer the Wacom digitizer and the controller, as well as the tiny sensor board from the old display assembly onto the new one. The Wacom digitizer is attached to the back of the LCD using soft adhesive applied around its perimeter. Use a flat metal pick to gently cut through the adhesive perimeter. Place spare plastic picks between the separated digitizer and the LCD to prevent it from sticking back. Continue using the flat metal pick to free up the adhesive perimeter. Be very careful around the area where the digitizer connects to its controller. Separate the digitizer board together with the digitizer. Pick off the tiny sensor board from the old assembly. Replace the tiny sensor board onto the new assembly, making sure the board connector is facing to the right. Align the Wacom digitizer with the LCD and reattach the controller board. Use a microfiber cloth to gently press the adhesive. Place the new assembly onto the keyboard and align it with the cabling. Insert the accessory cable and its guides. Thread the sensor board onto the connector. Reconnect the cable to the digitizer board using a flat metal pick. Insert the webcam cable into its guides. Make sure the cable is properly routed to not let get pinched by the case on reassembly. Carefully thread the cable through all of its guides. Place the metal rail onto its positioning pins and press down onto the webcam board to catch its adhesive. Replace the four Phillips screws through the metal rail. 
Using both hands, carefully reconnect the video connector. Close the connector bracket and secure it with clear tape. Caution! It is very important not to force any of the connectors, as well as you must not twist or slant the connector when plugging it in. Do a final check of all cables, making sure that they are strictly within their guides. Lift the display assembly up. And uh, as we can see, the screen is working. Shut the computer down. Replace the three Phillips screws at the bottom edge. Replace the bottom plastic cover strip and gently clip it in. Replace two Phillips screws on each side near the bottom. Replace the two rubber covers over the two Phillips screws. Reconnect the power cord and start the computer by pressing the power button on the right side. Test the stylus by dragging a window around. And we're done.